Hello, viewers. I'm glad you're here. Let's talk about Mockley vinegar, rice wine vinegar. Uh, so that's a new topic for me. Quite a few viewers have asked me about vinegar before. So, so uh, I thought it would be a good topic for today's episode. Years ago, years ago, I uh, I had some some mockley that I brewed and it was quite sour and I I did not finish the bottle it was just in the fridge and it was in the in the back of the fridge for more than a year almost almost a year and a half so um so probably like many of you I think okay this old rice wine is just going to automatically turn into vinegar that's what that's what people say so I but I think that's a common misconception because when I when I tasted this this old rice wine that had been in the fridge, well, it um, it had not turned into vinegar. Vinegar is much more sour, and although this was a sour brew, this actually was less sour than I had remembered. And uh, often, what happens is that it mellows over time. Uh, the rice your rice wine is going to mellow over time in the fridge, so. A year and a half is not too long to keep uh, to drink the clear part of the rice wine, the Changju. Uh, that is is perfectly fine to keep that in the fridge for for a few years, and it does not automatically turn into vinegar. So, if if that's the case. Uh, Rice wine vinegar, makgeolli vinegar, is a real thing. Uh, how how is it produced? And uh, so the one place I saw some recipes was just on Nuruk packages. So let's uh, let's go over this these uh, recipes in detail that uh, that I I found on uh, Nuruk packages from Korea. So this these are from uh, these are from Sansong Nuruk. So there's there's two recipes on this package of Sansong Nuruk. The first one is for brown rice black vinegar. So that sounds interesting. So let let me just go through the recipe in detail here. The first step is to wash 1.2 kilograms of brown rice and soak it for 20 to 24 hours and then steam the rice to make godubap. So Okay, and then after cooling the godubap completely, mix with one kilogram of yeast. That's this entire package in a well sterilized jar. So that's really a lot of nuruk for that amount of rice. It's almost the same amount of nuruk as the amount of rice. So that's quite extreme. Third step is to mix well with four liters of water. So it emphasizes to not use purified water and cover the jar with a cloth, cotton or burlap and string or rubber band and uh, warm it to 20 to 30 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 days. So com comparing that with uh, with brewing mockley, that's pretty warm since the 30 degrees Celsius would seem to be too warm for mockley. I, I would not brew Makgeolli at that temperature, and it's also for quite a long period of time, considering how much water there is compared with the rice. Now, one thing: this is brown rice, so it is going to take longer to ferment, and it is soaked for a long time too. That's another thing I notice about this recipe. So that's the first period of fermentation for fifteen to twenty days. Then step five is after fermentation, transfer to a room. It could be cooler, as low as five degrees Celsius, um, but sealed now, so not really actively fermenting. This is the maturation time, I guess, and age it for about one year, and then and then filter it uh, through a fine sieve. And uh, after filtering, the last step here, seal the lid with plastic again. Then after about one year has lapsed, you'll have brown rice, black vinegar. So it takes about about two years to make black vinegar with uh, with brown rice. 
So that's a, an interesting recipe. It uses a lot of nuruk. Um, the recipe is different than a uh, uh, makli recipe, but there's no mention of any any vinegar mother or starter. It's just uh, the way the way this recipe is presented. You just uh, you're automatically going to get the right bacteria to make vinegar uh, since the temperature is warm. So this is just expecting it to work automatically. And there's another uh, recipe on on this package, just making nuruk vinegar. This is with white rice instead of brown rice. The uh, proportions are are the same. 1.2 kilograms of plain rice soaking for uh, less this time. You only need five to eight hours of soaking for the plain rice. I make godobop. After cooling the godobop, mix it uh, mix it with the entire package of nuruk in a well sterilized jar, and then mix it well with four liters of water. And uh, as before, not water from a water purifier, but uh, I, and I, I suppose that's because that's because you need. Uh, certain amount of minerals in the in the water to promote the growth of the vinegar bacteria. Okay, but like with the black vinegar, you cover the jar with a cloth and string, and the temperature, uh, the initial fermentation period would be from 20 to 30 degrees Celsius and ferment that for about 10 days. So it doesn't take as long to ferment the white rice. After fermentation, transfer to a room that might be cooler, somewhere between 5 to 30 degrees, seal with plastic, mature for about one month, so that instead of one year, and filter through a fine sieve. And then after filtering, seal the lid with plastic again, and after about five months have elapsed, it will be nuruk vinegar. So... So this takes uh, less than a year. It, it just takes you know, a, a little over six months to make this white rice vinegar. Uh, but again, there's no mention of a vinegar mother. Usually, when I when I read when I read recipes for for making vinegar, you 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 save some some uh, vinegar mother from your previous batch or you get some raw vinegar from s- someone that, you know, that'll start the process off. But uh, I guess for Korean fermenters, they're very confident they can say they can get this to happen uh, without a vinegar mother. I also watched this Korean video. It gave two recipes, one with a mother and one without a mother. One thing it mentions is that makgeolli vinegar is sweeter and softer than regular vinegar, and it has a richer taste. The recipe without the vinegar mother is just to use some unpasteurized makgeolli and uh, might uh, dilute it a bit. So that uh, maybe that matches the recipe on the Nuruk package and that that recipe used a lot of water. So the, so the way making vinegar works the particular kind of bacteria in a vinegar mother, that bacteria transforms alcohol into acetic acid, and that's the vinegar acid. So that's that's how it works. So you need to have alcohol to start with, but not too much. If the alcohol percentage is too high, the uh, they can't do their thing. And also, if it's too low, there's not enough, uh, there won't be enough acidity in the end product. So you have to uh, dilute the your alcohol to be in the right range to start with. So the recipe without the vinegar mother, you start with unpasteurized makgeolli. Uh, you keep your jar 70% full to allow for some expansion, and you... Uh, you store it in a well-ventilated place, 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, out of direct sunlight, and you stir it when a membrane forms. That would be the when a mother starts to form by itself spontaneously on the surface. 
and uh, you'll have to stir it regularly. And this recipe says filter two or three times, and it usually takes around 30 days. So that's, um, so that's a bit different than the recipe on the Nuruk package because l less Nuruk is going to be used because you're just starting with Sang Makli. Uh, probably, yeah, the amount of Nuruk in that Makli is, is a lot less, uh, and you're stirring it. You're paying more attention to it. You're stirring it more, and you're filtering it. Um, the, the recipe on the Nuruk pa package did not mention any stirring and uh, only one filter. So this this recipe has has a, a few more uh, has a bit more labor in it, but I actually trust it more since I can see the result on the video. And the second uh, the second recipe in this video is using a vinegar mother uh, from a previous batch and maybe uh, thirty percent of the makli, so a ratio of mother to Mockley of around thirty percent, and uh, with the with the mother, this video says that uh, you don't need to be as careful with the alcohol percentage, but you can you can dilute it. And again, you filter the vinegar several times during the fermentation, and there's uh, plenty of stirring. And after fifteen days, so it's it's it takes half as long with the vinegar mother. You can put it in opaque bottles and and mature it in the refrigerator. And after maturing, it'll become clearer and taste better. And then uh, finally, at the end, you can dilute it with water um, to around 5% acidity. Okay, so those are some potential recipes for making vinegar from, from rice wine. And uh, what they involve is, is keeping it at a higher temperature and a lot, either allowing uh, uh, the vinegar bacteria to spontaneously form a mother on the surface, or um, or you start with the vinegar mother to begin with. So, so it's something that requires the, all the previous steps of of brewing makli because you need alcohol to do this. But uh, an additional there are additional microbes involved that, that take over the brew completely and produce the acid to make vinegar. There's a warning here that, that might or might not be obvious, but uh, it's good to say, if I made vinegar in this jar, I no longer can use this jar to brew makali. Uh, there would be too, uh, too many remnants of the vinegar bacteria in this jar, and uh, it would tend to produce too much sourness no matter what I brewed in it. So, and the same thing would apply to utensils. Like a wooden spoon that I used to stir vinegar, I would not want to use that wooden spoon to stir makali. So that's something to keep in mind. In fact, you might want to keep completely separate uh, environments for vinegar production and makali production. So that's, um, that's one of the reasons why I have not tried to make vinegar so far. I would need to be careful to keep it completely separate from my makali. Uh, I don't want that kind of contamination because when I brew makali now, it, it's working great and, and I don't get any unwanted... Uh, unwanted microbes growing in my brew, but uh, the acetobacteria, they're, they're, uh, they're quite hardy, and they'll, they'll survive, and they might contaminate my alcohol production. And I wouldn't want that. So, so I am going to be careful. Um, but let, let, me know, let me know what you think. Are you interested in vinegar production? Uh, so there's, there's the Vinegar made with white rice and vinegar made with brown rice. Uh, I'm sure these are interesting products uh, to experiment with. Um, are you interested in, in making vinegar from rice wine? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching.